Hi, I'm Verongity Cindy Roundsville, homeopathic health consultant educator. Today I want to show you how a Shungi stone protects us from EMS, electromagnetic frequency. I have a, a Shungi stone on a necklace and I'm going to hold this over my head and you're going to see that it is going to swing clockwise. When it swings clockwise, it's showing that I do not have any electromagnetic frequencies affecting me. So I gotta give it a little bit of time then and we see it's gonna eventually gonna make up its mind it's gonna swing. See there you go. It's swinging clockwise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold my cell phone. I'm gonna hold my cell phone and I'm gonna put the Shungi stone over my head again and you're gonna see that it's gonna swing counterclockwise. This is because the my cell phone is emitting EMS that affects us. You just gotta give it a little bit of time, but it's gonna make up its mind there, and then you're gonna see it. There it goes. See, it's going counterclockwise, it is. All right, now I'm gonna show you how a Shungi stone protects us. This is the Shungi stone that I wear when I'm in my office with all electromagnetic frequencies. I have the Shungi stone, it's the same thing I have as my pendulum. I'm gonna hold the Shungi stone as I'm holding my cell phone. And you're gonna see that the Shungi stone is going to eventually gonna go clockwise. This is because my Shungi stone that I am wearing around my neck is blocking the EMFs from my cell phone. It's really swinging really hard here. See how it's going? It's gonna, it's gonna eventually gonna level off. There you go. See how it's going? So my tension here today is in <clears throat> showing you how the Shungi stone can protect us from the electromagnetic frequencies that we encounter throughout our day. It's unavoidable. So I'm hoping that you will take measures to protect yourself away from these electromagnetic frequencies that they're everywhere. We can't hide from them, they're there. I want you to create yourself a healthy, energizing day.